हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू जीएस पॉडकास्ट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट लाइट पोल्यूशन सो वी नो दैट वाचिंग द क्लियर नाइट स्काई द स्टार्स एंड अदर एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल ऑब्जेक्ट्स इज एन ऑब्सोल्यूट डिलाइट वेल वी कैन स्टिल ऑब्जर्व दिस फिनोमेना इन सम रूरल एरियाज बट नाउ दे आर इंक्रीजिंगली रेयर इन द डेंसली पॉपुलेटेड अर्बन एरियाज and the presence of artificial lights in the environment is a major reason behind this so other than restricting our abilities to observe the wonders of nature the presence of excessive light has negative impacts on living beings as well so in this video we are going to discuss about light pollution in detail so let's see what are the topics that we are going to cover so first one is we will discuss what is light pollution second one we will discuss the impact of light pollution on plants animals and human beings next we will discuss what are the mitigation measures to minimize the light pollution and finally we will discuss a question based on this topic so let's begin now let's understand what is a light pollution so it is an unwanted consequence of outdoor lighting and this kind of pollution usually occurs due to excessive and inappropriate artificial light now there uh, there are four overlapping components of the light pollution which are given as follows so first one is urban sky glow so it refers to the glow effects that can be seen in urban populated areas and sky glow is the combination of all the reflected light and upward directed light escaping up into the sky now second one is light trespass so it occurs when spill light is cast where it is not needed an example of light trespass is when spill light from a street light enters a window and illuminates an indoor area or the entire room now third one is glare so it is a visual sensation caused by excessive and uncontrolled brightness and it can be disabling or simply uncomfortable for example glare from car headlights or traffic lights which can impair the ability to drive at night now fourth one is clutter so clutter refers to excessive groupings of lights and it may generate confusion from obstacles and potentially cause accidents and clutter is particularly noticeable on roads where the street lights are badly designed so poor placement of advertisement boards and street lights excessive and inappropriate use of light high population density and traffic density contributes significantly to the light pollution at times certain environmental conditions such as smog fog and high levels of suspended particles also increases the intensity of light pollution now let's discuss the impact of light pollution on plants animals and human beings so light pollution interferes with the living organisms biological activities and living beings depend on the earth's daily cycle of light and dark that governs behavior such as reproduction sleep and migration etc but artificial light during night time has negative effects on these behaviors so let's start understanding its negative impact on plants so light pollution affects plants by interfering with the photoperiodism and based on their sensitivity to light plants are classified as long day plants short day plants and day neutral plants so the presence of artificial lights beyond natural light hours can disturb photoperiods of these plants now several biological activities in plants such as pigment formation leaf shedding and the onset and breaking of dormancy are determined by the photoperiodism 
and the presence of artificial light lighting alters the natural photo period and therefore upsets the plant's development also many plant species such as queen of the night epiphyllum oxytellum blooms only at night and depends on nocturnal pollinators for pollination and increasing artificial lighting can prevent flowering and pollination in such plants and hamper the reproduction okay next is let's understand its impact on the animals so animals are also affected by light pollution for example nocturnal animals depends on the duration of daylight length to start their daily activities at night an exposure to artificial light interferes with these activities hence decreases their chances of finding foods and exposes them to the other predators also artificial light at night is one of the prominent cause of the global decline of insects and other animals like amphibians are more sensitive to ambient light and can detect light intensity at far below human limits and long exposure to artificial light intensity can interfere with the various activities at night also sea turtles lay their eggs on beaches and when eggs hatch the hatchlings find their way to the sea by detecting the bright horizon over the ocean however artificial lights on the coast draws them away from the ocean and in the wrong direction and this process exposes them to several dangers from the predators next is nocturnal birds use moonlight and starlight for their navigation and hunting and thus become dis, uh, disoriented by a large amount of artificial lighting so the collision of birds with brightly lit high rise buildings lighthouses and wind turbines results in the death of numerous birds now if we talk about the impact of light pollution uh, in human beings artificial light cause uh, causes major sleep disturbances in humans by affecting the circadian clock which is a 24 hour day night cycle affects psychological processes in practically all the organisms and brain wave patterns hormone generation cell regulation and other biological functions are example of these processes and in humans disruption of circadian clock has been associated with a variety of medical issues including sleeplessness cardiovascular disease and cancer so high intensity and unregulated artificial light has negative impacts on living beings now what can be done to minimize these impacts of light pollution so we should uh, use lights only in places and at times it is needed and installation of time and motion sensor based lighting can help in achieving this and whenever possible efficient lighting should be used and it should be directed at the ground not the sky next one is a good lighting design should optimize the visibility of the intended object and minimize glare and the light trespass also artificial light should be minimized in the ecologically sensitive areas such as routes for migratory birds and beaches with active hatching of turtle eggs next is proper guidelines should be introduced regarding lighting on the highways and roads in or near forest regions and finally awareness about lesser known form of pollution needs to augment so that we can fine tune our activities to reduce the negative impact and make the world a better place for all the living beings 
ओके नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस अ क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन दिस टॉपिक सो द क्वेश्चन इज एक्सप्लेन द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ लाइट लाइट पॉल्यूशन ऑन लिविंग बींग्स एंड सजेस्ट सजेस्ट द मिटिगेशन मेजर्स टू मिनिमाइज दीज इम्पैक्ट सो दिस इज टेन मार्कर क्वेश्चन एंड यू हैव टू राइट इट इन वन फिफ्टी वर्ड्स सो लेट सी हाउ वी कैन अप्रोच सो स्टार्ट राइटिंग विद द ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन दैट इन एप्रोप्रिएट और एक्सेसिव यूज ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल लाइट इज नोन एज लाइट पोल्यूशन एंड इट इंटरफेयर्स विद द बायोलॉजिकल एक्टिविटी ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम सच एज स्लीप माइग्रेशन एक्सेट्रा further explain in detail the negative impacts of light pollution on plants animals and human beings as we have discussed earlier in this video after that mention all the mitigation measures that can be taken to minimize the effect of light pollution and finally conclude that preventive measures are essential and have to be taken whenever possible to reduce light pollution for example use of glare free bulbs installing low hanging bulbs etc so in this way you can structure and write your answer okay now if you have any doubt or suggestions regarding this topic please write it in comment section also download the pdf from the description box and stay tuned with us for such more interesting gs topics till then thank you everyone and have a nice day